flights overseas getting money how i please show me things that i need what it is and what's good with you co-signers welcome back to hakai 7 in a special episode of cosign or decline check it out let me holla at you pimpin all right usually we react into some music we react into bars all right we decide if that shit is tight or that shit is whack but today as promised if you are a subscriber you will have seen this in the community board we're gonna do something a little bit different today that's right baby today i'm gonna react to this whatever what is it dating talk whatever podcast or dating talk episode where one of these girls says that she's a 10 out of 10 that's right they get into some heated debate is the gist of the situation either way i'm gonna dive in i'm gonna take a look at it and uh let you know what my thoughts are on the situation all right so before we do all that you know what you have to do if you haven't already subscribe comment like hit the bell and make sure you share this video if you haven't already make sure you hit up the merch shop as well get you some of that hakai 7 gear i got my stuff on the way that way i cannot over talking about it and not repping it myself some of y'all got some of my gear first and i ain't even had it yet that's all i'm saying so much love to y'all that have been out there and supporting uh supporting the channel and to the rest of y'all it ain't too late come and come and hop on baby you know what it is so let's go ahead and do the damn thing she thinks she's a perfect 10 do you agree do i agree and which one of these hoes is saying that I didn't mean to call him a hoe, I don't know. But which one of these chicks said that she is a 10 out of 10? I don't know. Let's find out together. I think right now I'm actively dating and talking to like <laughs> Lord have mercy, please don't let it be her. <laughs> Let's go. I think right now I'm actively dating and talking to like like seven guys? Seven, eight? <laughs> I don't like talk to Cap. all. Cap, 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 let me aim, bro. Uh, no, <laughs> nobody has that much time to be juggling that many significant others or semi-significant others, bro. And Cap, it. doing it for the film. Don't buy that shit. I don't believe that at all. To <laughs> like, like seven guys, seven Cap. eight. You I don't lie. like talk to all of them regularly. I don't see them regularly. How but, old know. are you? These niggas in different countries. That's why she could talk to them. They all online and in different countries. That's for real. Okay, so here's the real. Even I ugly guess. girls can get laid. Okay, but ugly guys cannot get Where did this guy come from? And why is he saying even ugly girls can get laid after she done said that shit? Is he saying something to her? Okay, so here's the real. Even I ugly guess. girls can get laid. Okay, but ugly guys cannot get laid. So the real question for women is... How many guys want to marry you? That Aww. is the real question. Hey, ugly guys can get laid, man. Trust me, I know some ugly mugs be smashing out, man. Uh, <laughs> one thing y'all need to know is beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Not everybody got the same eye. You feel me? Let's go. Question for women is, how many guys want to marry you? That Aww. is the real question. Do you even believe in marriage? Uh, I think in the U.S. and I think in maybe other places where it's not like the government has control over you, then right. yes. I think like marriage used to be something that was beautiful was like and amazing. Uh, I think it used to hold be like on, a construct guys, of controlling women. Stop, stop, stop. You all what, can't be tens because some of you objectively look better than others. Oh, someone, you all can't, okay. All right, I was wondering why the fuck we stopped. All right, so this, this dude submitted some money to him, said... And they read out his thing. He said, all you can't be tens because some of you objectively look better than others. So all of them said that they was 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, the chick in the blue. Oh, that is not a chick. That's a sex doll, y'all. They got a sex doll in this bitch. <laughs> Wait, so continue with your point. <laughs> Why are we gonna talk about dating and they got a sex doll in the bitch? <laughs> Um, I said, uh, formerly, he, you were saying marriage used to be a beautiful thing. I think formerly marriage existed as a construct to control women. <sighs> Stop the cat. Ooh, look at the dude in red. He was hurt here and that shit. Listen, look at him. Look at him. No, holy, hold everybody on, I just gotta, like I wanted to do this hunky dory. We're all in love, you know. Yeah, women were actually Wait. always chasing guys to get married. Women were actually chasing guys to get married because that was his protector. That was the guy who's paying um, for the house and things like that. So Wait, exactly. yeah, but don't you understand hold on, hold on, hold on. the systemic okay. sexism that has led women to the like that led women to the point of needing to get married? 
Bar Mar women marriage happy was now? marriage was not something to control women. I actually think now, these days in this generation, especially this year, that a lot of the men are the ones that are really rushing into marriage, especially the ones in the military and especially the ones Correct. that I have a lot of... Oh, wow. Fun fact, marriage, people are waiting now longer to get married than uh, ever before. So I don't know what they mean by rushing into it now if statistic statistically speaking people are waiting longer to get married that don't make no fucking sense you just talking out your ass bitch let's keep it rolling especially the ones in the military and especially the ones Correct. that I have a Carson. lot of i mean call her bitch i don't know backlash yeah i think now personally in this generation like women don't get a lot of benefits out of being married like it just adds a lot of problems it adds more to my life actually than women a get lot. more actually women get more because if you guys get divorced you guys take half of the shit you take the kids that's yeah, what you guys have anything but would you guys want to marry a guy who doesn't have anything i have that's why i divorced him he had nothing Love <laughs> we getting into some stuff here. I thought we was gonna talk about who's a perfect ten out of ten, and we just diving into some marriage problems. She divorced her man because he had nothing. Why'd you get married to him in the first place? It looks and sounds like she might have had some uh, different intentions from the get go. You know what I'm saying? But we'll we'll dive in. I don't I didn't mean to hear that. I don't know nothing about it. So let's dive in some more. Go on. You was saying, Miss Blue Shirt. Yeah. Come on, so that's <laughs> A skinnier blue shirt. But would you guys even want to marry a guy who doesn't have anything? I have. That's why I divorced him. He had nothing. Let me he tell lied. you something. Let me tell you something. With men in the military, like they only want to marry you because it gets them more money at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. so, especially mm -hmm. Marine men yep. and Navy yep. men. I can tell you that most of them, like I've had men that are in the Marines, that have literally only hit me up and talked to me because they want me to marry them. That's the uh, that's but I, that could be true. I, I mean, you can't you can't argue somebody's somebody's experience. I hope you don't try and do that, Mr. Black suit tie guy, no tie wearing ass guy. I don't get anything out of it. Yeah, that's an interesting thing about the military. Is there's a lot of guys who are actually simps in the military because one, they're not, and you guys might have a lot of experience with this talking oh, guys in the military. <laughs> one because they don't they aren't around a lot of females, right? You're only surrounded by like 99% of dudes. Another thing as well is yeah, the benefits like one already in the military you're not getting paid well at all, right? So it already tells guys, yeah, get married so you could get off of base because you get to live off base and you get paid. So a lot of guys are very interested in the idea of marriage. So they'll just go out and marry a stripper and then she divorces him, she cheats on him, whatever. So okay. it's not good. Hold on. I wonder what the statistics are following that little assumption, that quality right there, bro. That's some interesting takes right there. But uh, if we don't start talking about who's a 10 out of 10 on this panel, I'm going to get pissed real quick, bro. We're already three minutes into this bullshit. Let's go. And marry a stripper. I ain't, here to and talk. I ain't come here to listen to your marital problems and, ooh, he, he loves me or she don't love me or she just wants this and he just wants that. Let's just get to who's the 10 out of 10, damn it. More sim, she cheats on him, whatever. So okay. it's not good. Hold on. So I, w I need to really focus in on what we're actually talking about. You had something to say. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. So I want to say that with marriage, I think for the military, a lot of them don't have like exposure to other women so then when they get into the military especially when they get in young they're also a bit naive because they don't have a lot of dating experience so immediately they think when i date this girl she's kind of into me oh my god i want to marry her what's all these things popping up here okay so you donate and you get some stuff uh it's not predatory for a man to date women who are legal adults older women i don't that we ain't even said nothing about that i don't even know that's it that's yeah. not related okay. so relatable to guys sorry so. i i will get to the soup chats here but okay i want to bring it back to the rating system thing so oh thank you bearded man you said you were 10 you said all the girls at the table are a 10. yeah I... she says she's a 10. so you said you were 10. You said all the girls at the table are a 10. Yeah, you gotta so, love yourself, man. But but so if everyone's a 10, can, can we agree on this following statement? Some people are more physically attractive than others. No, I think that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Oh! Uh, I don't really... <laughs> she is right. <laughs> beauty is in the eye of the beholder, all right? That is, that is true. It's an intrinsic property, not an extrinsic property, although a lot of people want to make it an extrinsic property. I see you. Let's go. Okay, but there are there are certain like there's something to aesthetics. Like there's something about face, facial symmetry that 
generally speaking, if you put together a group of 100 people, they can sort of like, they'll rank people by attractiveness and they'll kind of... Right, more attractive is more symmetrical. Well, they'll be able to reach a consensus. So if everybody's a 10... That's true too. Nobody's a 10. So if everyone's a 10, then... Okay, so you think you're a 10. Yeah. Don't I think I'm fucking gorgeous. Don't. I think I'm perfect. <laughs> I think I'm fucking gorgeous. I think I'm perfect. Hey. <laughs> Do your thing, girl. Okay, so you think you're a 10. Yeah. Don't I think I'm fucking gorgeous. Don't, I think I'm perfect. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. You're not Please a 10. Please lay it on me. You're, this, you're not a 10. <laughs> That's just your opinion. I'm, I'm not going to rate you. <laughs> This motherfucking cold blooded. <laughs> he said, "Don't think this is the wrong way, but uh, you're not a ten. You see this seven right here? Oh my, oh my shit! You should be right here. <laughs> That's some ballsy shit to say, fam. You're not a ten. Lay it on me. You're you're not a ten. Okay. Oh, the red shirt. I'm, I'm not gonna rate you, but you're not a ten. Okay, you don't have to rate me, and that's just your opinion. Well, it is. <laughs> and the chick with blue hair ain't said a damn thing this entire time. <laughs> Listen, look. You don't like fat bitches? <laughs> oh, you took it there. Wow. <laughs> you don't like fat bitches? <laughs> this shit is wild, bro. This shit is wild. Not everybody does. I don't Actually, like, I don't okay, like listen, let me tell you something. Everyone has personal <laughs> preference, and at the end. You don't like fat bitches. <laughs> no. <laughs> she said, you don't like fat bitches. <laughs> well, obviously not. He said, you ain't a 10 out of 10, did he? Oh, shit. I'm happy I selected this. At the end of the day, overall, there is always going to be someone. Well, what was she saying? I was laughing too much. Not everybody okay, okay. does. I don't Actually, I don't okay, like listen, let bitches. me tell you something. Every he said, <laughs> he didn't even said, I don't like fat bitches. No, that's okay. Not everybody okay, okay. does. I don't, Actually, I don't okay, like listen, let me tell you something. Everyone has personal preference. And at the end of the day, overall, there is always going. She literally biting her lip, trying not to say anything. She ain't said nothing all day. You know when she does, it's gonna be good. To be someone better or something that has someone that has something more than what you have, and everyone is attracted to different people. So like I could say he's attractive, but I could say he's not attractive. Right. But someone else could find him attractive, and someone could find him ugly. Sure. So everyone's but, a ten. But I do no. agree that. Not everyone here is a 10. Nobody here is a 10. I don't think anyone here is a 10. Exactly. By the way, look at her eyelash. It got all fucked up. Wait, can you show it to the <laughs> Hold it up to the camera. She lost her eyelash. Do I, show it? Do I show it like that? Yeah. yeah. That oh. Rip. Oh Rest in peace, like Cynthia's oh, no. eyelash. Okay, so. Hit me up in the comments, man. On a scale of 1 to 10, the, the chicken says she's a 10 out of 10. What do you give her, fam? What do you give her? Let's go. Looks only because we don't know her personality. So it's a that chick. <laughs> that chick. Facial opinion. Body opinion. Whatever you can see of her opinion. Her eyes. Her nose. The hair. The part. Who cares? 10 out of 10? 1 out of 10? What do you give her? Hit me up in the comments. Rip. Rest in peace. <laughs> Cynthia's eyelash. Okay. So the 10 thing. Um. We tens have dog. modeling contracts. Okay. He said. He said tens have modeling contracts. That's cap. Like. Are you saying that that's not something that I could have? Bro, I promise you, you about to fuck up this answer because you need to look at what like some of these magazine covers is doing. They're becoming much, much more inclusive. All right. And taking in a wide variety of different looks and the different styles of females, you about to fuck yourself up. But that statement right there. Wrong. Okay. I've seen a lot of big bitches in, in some motherfucking magazine covers and on fucking outside gap posing. Those are models, G. You're talking supermodels. Like, are you saying that that's not something that I could have? I think there's a lot of plus size models too nowadays. Like everybody. I think Calvin she right. Is yeah. So. I mean, yeah, <laughs> but that's secret. that's like the clown world, <laughs> like the fucking that the whole movement. Show. But like, okay. All right, this dude's kind of a douche here's the, here's, I guess here's my issue with people rating themselves as a 10. If you gas yourself up to the point where you have an inaccurate self-assessment of your physical attractiveness, 
you are going to be trying to command a partner that quite frankly you are not going to be able to lock lock down for long-term commitment yo this guy this guy kind of a douchebag real talk uh what bro i wonder what he gives himself on a scale of one to ten <laughs> hey let's rate the bit hey let's rate the chick in the middle all right with the blue dress that said you don't like fat bitches her and uh mr flannel over here rate them both on a scale of one to ten all right we're gonna put them up side by side who's better you are not going to be able to lock lock down for long-term commitment if you th if i think well men and women are different so i i can be delusional but it's not really going to help women can still sleep with men but those men will never commit to them so this guy is also not wearing a wedding band so i'm taking that he is not married that i'm looking for commitment though he's got a lot of marital advice for someone being not married i mean you know what i mean like it's all do you want maybe he's been divorced day? no do you want to have a, a life partner one day do you prefer do you prefer having relationships or do you prefer just having a constant rotation of men i prefer to be single and sometimes that includes a rotation of men and sometimes that includes just me okay well to each their own however i would say most women generally speaking they want to have most women want to have kids and want to have a family not all women certainly and even women who don't though if you're if you have an inaccurate self-assessment of your physical attractiveness oh, see he keeps saying an inaccurate self-assessment of your attractiveness but he neglects to understand that really beauty is truly in the behind in the eye of the beholder bro let me give you an example let me give you an example right now <clears throat> think of the most beautiful painting you ever heard of or you ever seen in your life we're gonna say we're just gonna say it's the mona lisa the mona lisa and collectively speaking a lot of people most of the world would agree that, that is one of the most beautiful paintings of all time beautiful <clears throat> if tomorrow if to, and, you, and let's say you agree with that if tomorrow it, the whole world wakes up and everybody in the world says no that's the most hideous painting in the world are you then going to agree to that Nothing changed about the painting. The only thing that changed is people's intrinsic feelings towards the painting. You, see, you get what I'm saying? Beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder, man. You know, one man's trash is another man's treasure. And that's just facts, fam. What is beautiful, and yeah, maybe there are some, there are some uh, uh, indicators, right? Like symmetry, like what he's saying, symmetry. That could come into play. But at the end of the day, man, what is beautiful to me may not be beautiful to you and because it is not beautiful to you does not mean it is any less beautiful to me so it is all intrinsic being a jackass cut it out if you have an inaccurate self-assessment of your physical attractiveness you're going to think that you deserve a certain caliber of man that you might be able to sleep with, maybe, but he's just not going to commit to you. And you're going to look at men that are actually your looks equivalent. What is a caliber of And you're going to think you're settling for them. I'm going to I'm gonna have to watch more of this. In reality, that's your equivalent. And you're going to treat those guys like shit. Or you're, you're just not going to even fuck with them to begin with. Right. You're going to... And, and I think that's the big problem with modern dating. Women will confuse sexual interest for relationship interest <laughs> because women can very easily sleep with them. Sorry, the sex doll is cracking me up, bro. The sex doll right here is cracking me up. <laughs> with men that are of a higher either socioeconomic status or physical attractiveness, those men might sleep with you, but they'll never commit to you. So women can sleep with like pretty attractive guys because those attractive guys welcome the easy access Ooh, I think he was about to get into so something doing there for thing, I mean, I think he was about to get into something there for your ass there. So, uh, but, uh, let's run this back just a little bit here. Uh, I don't want nothing else playing in the background, but check it out, man. Check it out. Co-sign the decline of what they's talking about. First off, do I co-sign that she's a 10? Me personally, no. I don't think that shit is close. But, 
beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So just because I don't think she's a 10, doesn't mean somebody else don't think she's a 10. That is true. Now, old boy over here saying, Mr. Flannel, saying that uh, there are indicators that help to determine it. Yes, this dude right here saying there are indicators to determine it. I agree with that. However, some of those indicators may hold more ground with some than others. So <clears throat> we really owe arguing over something that's just opinion based. It don't really make much sense to argue on. But what I am interested in knowing is where do you rank flannel head or flannel shirt guy here? Because I don't know his name. If y'all know his name, let me know his name. But Mr. Flannel Shirt Guy right here, what do you rate him on a scale of one to ten? And uh Miss, I'm one or I am a ten out of ten. Where do you rate her on a scale of one or uh yeah, a scale of one to ten? So hit that up in the comments. This is a 20 minute video. I ain't done a 20 minute video in so damn long, but I'm happy if you stuck around, you're still here, much appreciated. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and until next time y'all know what it is I'm out